just a quick video to show you how to merge translation memories in, in Studio. So you can do it via the upgrade route, which you can get to in here. Off the main screen, you can also find the same place in translation memories. Both of them get do exactly the same thing. And all you would do is click on upgrade translation memories. Then add your file based memories, or you could pick the folder if you wanted to. You'll notice that when you go to the folder, despite the fact that in my folder here I've got 10 translation memories, none of them are showing up. And this causes some confusion for many users. And the reason for this is because it's automatically looking for legacy files because it's an upgrade function. It's badly named in my opinion and, and not too well thought through. But you should click on this drop down box, select translation memories, the SDLTM, and then you can see them all. And then if you just select them all, so you can see I've got here a whole bunch of translation memories in different language directions and different languages. I can check them all in in one go, which is quite neat. They're not very big because I don't want this video to go on for too long. I click on Next. There are temporary fi files created, by the way, during this process. These are TMX files. I can click on Next, and that gives me an opportunity to rearrange how these memories are brought out. So the first option is create output translation memory for each input translation memory. So this is going to create a new memory for each one I put in. Not really what I want in this case, but if I select the second one, this groups them together. So out of my 10 translation memories, four of them are Welsh to English GB. So they'll get, they will get merged into one, which is like importing three into one. The next one is English GB to Welsh. So that will create a new one for that direction. Then I have English US to Arabic, three of those will become one, and English US to Welsh, which will become one. So out of those ten translation memories, I should only have four, because I've merged them together. Rather than just import them into each other, I'm just merging them. And I can just click finish on that point. It'll go through that process and just do them all in one go. So it doesn't take very long, and what I actually get, if I go over to here now, you can see I've got four new translation memories. So these four have replaced these ten. So in effect, this is the same as doing a merge on the and an import on the translation memories, and doesn't take a lot more clicks. I hope that's useful anyway.